I should pay my kids to come pull the pins out for me because I am not having any luck today. And they told me, they said, Dad, if you have any job we can do for money, let me know. Because now Callie and Anna have both decided they want to buy, like, uh, what are they called? Amphibians? No, not amphibians. Uh, le lizards? I don't know. Anna wants a frog, which might be an amphibian. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure. And Callie wants a gecko. And so I said, okay, you guys can get those if you save up the money and buy them. Because I'm not buying you a pet that you're going to get sick of in a week. Aren't I rude? But seriously, they do get sick of things really fast. All right. I just pulled two more pins. This little mermaid pin. Okay, let me show it to you. With flounder. And this Cinderella. Is that Cinderella? Uh, these ones sold for a little more. $13.98, so about 7 bucks a piece on those ones. And a lot of these, honestly, are going to viewers. Not all of them, but some of them. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me, viewers and non-viewers, hey, you can do a partial refund on the shipping if we buy a multiple. I am. So, for example, you know, it looks like uh, Melissa spent like $8 to ship those two pins. It's only going to cost like 4 so I'll refund $4 for her once I get it all packed up. Huh. Interesting. I got a very thoughtful response to something I talked about in the last video. In the last video, I was talking about how Callie brought in Pokemon cards to trade at school, and she was having a really fun time at recess trading them, but then she got in trouble for trading them. And I said, that seems silly. Like, at recess is when they should be allowed to trade. That's what we did when I was a kid, right? And a teacher responded and said, hey, we can't let them trade anymore because kids will trade and then they'll have like trade regret, like buyer's remorse. Like they'll make a trade and be like, oh, I wish I hadn't made that. And then it starts like fights at school where they're like, I didn't want to trade this. They tricked me, they scammed me. And then the teachers have to like be an arbitrator, an arbiter. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for um, and make sure the trade goes off well. So that's a really good point. Thank you for that comment. I hadn't thought about that. So I sold these popular mechanic books. These are really old, 1940, that one's 1960. This one's 1932. 1932, guys, this is a 90 year old book. How awesome is that? Uh, anyway, so it's a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six that I sold. Um, they didn't sell for a ton. I got them at the flea market. I bought them all for, I think, I think $5. Yeah, I paid $5 for two lots. So I got, I think 10 books. Uh, that lot sold for really fast. I probably priced it too low, $15. Uh, it sold like instantly. So I didn't look each one up. It's possible one of those books was like valuable and I didn't know it, but I don't care because I paid five, sold it for 15. I've got another lot listed for 15. So I should get $30 for my $5 investment. I call that a win. It was easy to list and it's going to be easy to ship. I have so many orders left. Okay. So what we'll do, well, let's keep pulling orders. At some point I'm going to get to a bunch of pin orders and I'm just going to pull them all and then come back because they are taking me so long to pull. Uh, but let's pull the, the big orders first, and we'll get the pins at the end. All right, so FL44, we sold something. Um, yeah, what's today? So today is Sunday. I do have to work tomorrow, obviously. That is how the week works. It's, you know, work Monday to Friday. I am going to North Carolina on Thursday morning. So I'll still be able to record today's Sunday. I'll be able, to rec be able to record Tuesday night and get you an episode of this show and uh, then I'll have to record maybe my trip or something in some of my orders. So we should be good this week. Next week, we might be missing a video. I think this week we can get the full lineup of videos, but next week might be tight. Here's all my Squishmallows that I have. They're not selling. I knew they wouldn't. This is actually my problem with retail arbitrage. Retail arbitrage is so tricky because, oh, and I need to talk about Mary Kay. I really do. This is an important one. Um, retail arbitrage is tricky because everyone sees, oh, Squishmallows are a dollar. They all go buy 50 of each of those Squishmallows. Then it's a race for the bottom of the market, right? People price them lower and lower and lower and lower and lower because there's way too much product on the market. So therefore the demand is not as high as the supply and prices go down. This is called economics. This is the economics course of the day. Uh, oh, I'm missing a piece. Okay. Oh no, he's inside it. Okay. So this is uh, Tomorrowland. Miles from Tomorrowland, it's like a little, what were these, oh, what was that movie? Oh man, Core Memory Unlocked, that's a TikTok thing. There's a movie where they're in mech suits fighting from the 80s, I gotta find this, hold on. That was so good, Anna would love that. The Giver, is that it? No, this doesn't look right. I remember a movie where they get into these things and they're battling you guys gotta help me with this. Oh, I cannot remember it. Mm. It's not cartoon. It's not a cartoon. It was like some sort of 
mech suit movie. Oh, if only I could remember. I wonder if my brother would remember. I'm gonna call Chad. Let's see. Mary Kay, don't let me forget about Mary Kay, but I'm gonna call my brother. He remembers all movies. He, he, he'll get it so quick. Yellow. Yo, I have a question for you. When we were kids, yeah. we watched yes. a movie where yeah. they were like in mech suits battling other people in mech suits or something like that. Like big giant robot things they were controlling. It wasn't animated. Do you know what I'm talking about? Wasn't animated. Was it like, um, not Thundercats. What's the other, Voltron or something? Oh, this might be it. Was it Robot Jocks? Is Maybe, that it? but I don't really remember watching anything like that except for there was one toy I had as a kid where, like, there was like four, I want to say it was like lions or something, mechanical lions that people rode in, and then they would form one big robot. But that was Power Rangers, right? No, it, no, it wasn't Power Rangers. I think it was like Voltron or something. I'm telling like you, Voltron. there is some mech suit movie from my childhood that I cannot remember that is driving me nuts right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm I'm recording an episode. I'll call you after. I'm gonna. I gotta. I'll let you know if I figure it out. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Right. Dang it. He doesn't remember either. I'm like googling it. Oh, man. I have like such a minor memory, like a tiny little memory, but I remember we watched it a lot, and I feel like maybe they were in the snow. Right, we gotta move past this. Mary Kay. Okay. First of all, Miles the Tomorrowland mech suit guy thingy. Sold for $12.99. This is what triggered the memory, guys. Maybe this will help you figure out what movie I'm thinking of. I can't remember it. Um, and it could have been like, a ter I don't know. It could have been a terrible movie. FL98. So I went to the flea market and I ran into, look at this. I got all the way to FL98 now. Uh, I ran into a viewer and she said that she bought a huge bulk buy of Mary Kay. And this is now the second time I'm hearing this. So I've got to tell you, because it might be like, there might really be something to it. So I think we need to start being careful with Mary Kay. Uh, I think this is one that's sold, let me see. It's a pumpkin, but it's not that one. So basically she said she had a bunch of Mary Kay stuff for sale. She got a letter from the lawyers of Mary Kay, the attorneys, and they said they're gonna sue her if she does not stop selling Mary Kay, like a cease and desist. And I've heard that before from someone else uh, saying that you know she was selling Mary Kay and she got a legal letter threatening to sue her for selling Mary Kay. And it seems like it happens to the people who have a ton of Mary Kay listed. Now I sell Mary Kay, but usually I sell like three a month, you know, two to three a month. You guys see, I don't sell that much Mary Kay. I sell a little bit, but not a ton. Um, would I have if I had gotten a huge bundle? Yeah, I would have. And I probably would have gotten a letter from a lawyer, but because I've never found that much, usually it's like, oh yeah, I sold one Mary Kay. Then a week later, I've sold another Mary Kay, stuff like that. It's never been like, Hey, I have 90 or 100 Mary Kay listings at once. Usually it's like 10 listings. I sold this is a Hallmark keepsake ornament cookie cutter thingy. It's kind of cool. It's Halloween themed. Sold for 20 bucks and 60 cents. The Halloween stuff is starting to sell for sure. Anyway, so word of warning, uh, Mary Kay is getting risky. Uh, I haven't pulled down my listings, but I don't have that many listings, so I probably won't. But I will say like, I'm gonna be a little careful about buying Mary Kay in the future. I might just pass it over. Or if I do buy it, try to find another way to sell it. So, sold this uh, Halloween plastic melted <laughs> decoration. Sold it for $16.80 plus shipping. I paid like nothing for those. That actually sold to Brad and Brad said, hey, my wife, enjoy, my, my wife and I enjoy watching your videos. We love the Trash Cash podcast. Love the way you guys rag on each other. Now I will say, someone did get, send me a message and, uh, oh, okay, their eBay store is LB, like the letter L and the letter B, underscore thrifting, underscore souls. Might be a, a shoe seller. Brad and Lee, yeah, LB, Lee and Brad, underscore thrifting, underscore souls. So thank you for that order. But no, that, that brings up an interesting topic. So on the podcast, we pick on each other, we do. Uh, and it's like, <sighs> we're friends, me, Kevin, and Carrie are all friends, uh, and we're, and in a sense, we're picking on each other. We don't even pick on each other like that in person. It's just kind of, you know, at the podcast, we pick on each other for fun. And, you know, because it's, it's humorous and we make each other laugh. And it's never like done in anger or hate. Like, you know, the joke is that I'm a bad picker and I only sell $5 DVDs. That's always the joke they say about me. About Carrie, we call him like lazy and say he sleeps all day. 
And then uh, Kevin, we call him old, even though he's like five years older than us. Uh, but he's really like old in, in heart, right? Like he's like listening to old, like 1950s music on his rocking chair. So we call him old. And so someone does, did get mad at me and say I shouldn't call him old. But I just want you to know, I'm only saying this because I no ill intent. It's just jokes. And uh, Kevin thinks they're funny too. That's why he does the jokes to me. Anyway, so if you are offended by that, I'm sorry. FL70, we sold Sonic Heroes for PlayStation 2. I went to a yard sale today. Hold on, I got a million topics in my head. Uh, let's see, what did this one sell for? Because there's like, this person bought two items. Oh, this sold for $9.90. I went to a yard sale today that I missed yesterday. So they put the posting, it drives me nuts. People put their posting on Facebook like the day of. And I used to do this too. So I can't really get mad at anyone because I used to do the same thing is I would set up a yard sale, then I'd take a picture of it and I'd put it on Facebook and I'd say yard sale today, come and get it today only. Like I used to do that. It's like the worst way to get people to your yard sale. That's how you're gonna get the least people to your sale possible. This one also sold for $9.90. This is uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance for PS2. Yeah, that's the worst way to get people to your yard sale. But if you don't know what you're doing, like that's the way you do it, right? I, I just didn't really know any better. So I used to do my own yard sales that way too. And uh, so he did that. And so I was like in another town. There was, uh, I didn't even know the sale was happening. If I had, I would have prioritized it, of course, because basically all the pictures are video games and consoles and, you know, old consoles, new consoles, old games, new games, N64s, like all this stuff, right? Amazing looking sale. And maybe some of you guys went to it, I don't know. Uh, I sold Wii Sports Resort for $25 plus shipping. This one I got at the flea market last week. I paid 15 for like five games, this was in there. Anyway, so I didn't see it. Tina texted it to me last night, Saturday night, and said, hey, did you go to this today? I said, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. And I said, I'll go to it tomorrow. So this morning, it started really early. So I went really early before anything else was going on today. And I went to the sale and it was all video games and pretty much all the good stuff had sold. So I sold this blouse. That's like uh, the, what ladies call a shirt. <laughs> or men call it that, I don't know. So yeah, it's pretty nice, I'll show it to you. It's like silk, I don't know, it's not silk. I don't know fabric. This is why I'm not a clothes reseller, guys. I don't know what this is. But it's like some sort of, if you wanna be a cowboy lady, tunique, it's called tunique. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I should link the video because the lady who sold me this like pitched it so hard that I couldn't say no. I felt guilty. Paid $5 for it. Did sell. Took, uh, I don't know, eight months. You might remember me buying it. Uh, sold for $22.90, I think. So I did make a profit. Just took forever. Actually, $23.75. <sighs> so I went to that sale today with all the video games and it was pretty much all shovelware left. Oh, Chad just texted me. He said, what I was thinking of was Transformers Voltron. But before your time, yeah, that's before my time. Oh, what is it? This battery's gonna die too. I've been this episode's too long. This episode is way too long. What am I gonna do? Cut it in half? I don't know, guys. This might be the second half of an episode. Uh, I still have a lot of orders left. I'm gonna have to cut this in half. I don't know. Crazy. I need to go get another battery. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the problem with too long of an episode, I've done this before. I've released episodes that are 40 to 50 minutes long. People don't watch the whole thing. <laughs> I'd love it if they did, but we get distracted. We have lives, you know, things come up. It's hard to watch an hour long episode. So I probably will cut this into two. This is probably a few minutes into the second half. Uh, I'm not entirely decided yet, but that's probably what's gonna happen. Okay, so I sold this. This thing is awesome. I wanna show it to you. I'm gonna actually plug it in. But yeah, so I go to this yard sale and Where's Santa? Where's Papa Gijo? What in the world? Oh, I guess he comes apart. All right, well, I don't know if a viewer bought this, but if so, that Santa comes right out, but he, gets, he pops right back in. This thing is so cool though, I had to, had to list it. I'm just gonna plug it in and show you guys. And check this out, it's so cool. This is like a tree topper, right? Like instead of a star at the top of your tree, you put this thing. Check it out, ready? Can you see it? Maybe I need to hold it. Look, see it's sort of like Christmas house and then Santa's on top and he spins in circles with his reindeer. I thought it was so cool. And look, this reindeer goes like up and down. Rudolph, well, I don't know if it's Rudolph because he doesn't have a red nose. Anyways, really cool. Love that thing. Sold it uh, right away. I listed it and it sold it right away. I, I listed it at the comps. The comps were about 25 bucks. Listed it for 25. 
sold instantly. But you know what? It sold to Donna, a viewer. So maybe it's just because uh, she was watching the store buying something else. I don't know how quick it would have sold, but I love it. Like I was actually like tempted to keep this thing. Yeah, anyway, so I go to this yard sale that's like all video games. And I was like, you know, you see the eBay boxes, stuff like that. So you know instantly he's a seller. And I said to him, I said, hey, you know, uh, do you sell on eBay? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. He's like, and I'll tell you what, you sound familiar. <laughs> I said, oh, do I? And he's like, yeah, you're on YouTube, aren't you? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so anyways, he he didn't, he couldn't remember who I was, but I told him who I was. And he's like, yeah, I've watched some of your stuff. It sucks. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he told me that yesterday, Saturday, was like insane. Like ridiculous, overwhelming, like tons of people. If you saw his ad, you'd understand why, because this guy had hundreds of games. He was selling them for two bucks a piece. Uh, I definitely missed the boat pretty bad. And actually, I guess his method worked of just posting it on Facebook because he got tons of business from it. But I'm kind of also a little glad I missed it because I feel like it would have been really stressful. Sorry, I was pulling some pins. So there's this Mickey one, it's like a steamboat. Hold on, I gotta get my eyes out. It seems like if I get my eyes out, it sees it. The Steamboat Willy one, uh, this purse one, which I think is Ursula's purse, and then it's this guy, I think it's a Alice in Wonderland smoking guy. Now let me see what they sold for. Yeah, so seven bucks, six bucks, and then 12 bucks for the smoking guy. I should really put these in piles of like what the person ordered all together, but I haven't been, so I'll need to fix that in a minute. But yeah, so he told me he has a storage unit. And so what he usually does is he buys storage lockers, which I always think is funny if you buy storage lockers to also be someone who uses a storage unit, because like I have this big fear that I'm gonna, like if I have a storage unit, I've had them before. If I have one, I'm gonna like get get it uh, taken away and then someone's gonna get it in an auction. It's a fear of mine, definitely a fear of mine. And so he, anyway, anyways, he said he has a storage locker and he was paying like 300 a month for it. It's air conditioned 10 by 20. So it's a big unit, uh, but he said his rate just went up to $600 for his storage container. 600 bucks in a month, every month, $600. That's crazy to me. But it's like, what, what is your option? I mean, I guess you just gotta buy smaller items, right? What else can you do? Uh, so this Cruella pin sold for five bucks. This one sold for six bucks, oh, just upside down. This Ursula, this is one of my favorite ones, sold for 10 bucks. And then this one I got a bunch of messages about. It's Maleficent 2. It sold really fast for 20, I think. Yeah, 20 bucks. But yeah, I just can't even imagine like having a storage container be 600 months. I mean, is it that much crazier? So let's talk about my plan, which is still not even finished yet. It's my long-term plan is to have this big shipping container be air conditioned and insulated and all that stuff. I don't have the money to insulate it right now, but I will eventually, hopefully before the end of the year. I've got this other priority. We'll talk about that in a second too, because I can always talk about stuff. Uh, this massager sold that, you know, if you watch my picker videos, my mom put on and it like hurt her head. It like goes over you like that. Ooh, actually I could use a massage. I'll show you how it works. Mostly because I want a massage, but also to show you, of course. It's not, it's not a selfish thing. All right, so you plug it in, press the power and it like punches your back there. I don't know if you, you probably can't see it, but then if you turn it super high. Oh, it's got a heater too. Oh, ah, it's like really aggressive. Can you see the pulsing? I don't know. It's giving me a shaking vision because it's shaking my head so much. Ow, try to talk like this. <laughs> Look at that, you can see that? Oh, anyways, it's sold. Ah, make it stop. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, listen, you get your money's worth. If you want like a heavy duty massage, oh man, <laughs> that thing delivers. I uh, sold that for $69.99 plus shipping. I think I paid five bucks for it, maybe 10. I don't know, there's a video. I'm really bad at remembering that. I guess if you think about it that, my storage container, when all is said and done, is gonna be end up being like $100. All right, no, <laughs> it knocked the sense out of me, $10,000. Uh, for all, like to buy it, to get it delivered, to get it air conditioned, to get it insulated, it's gonna be like 10 grand shelved. That's my like final estimate for how much I'll spend on that this year. If you're paying 600 a month for a storage unit, that's 6,000 a year. Wait, more than that, right? Is my math way off? Let me do some math. Yeah, 7,200 a year for his 10 by 20 storage unit. So what is my container? My container is, I forgot how much, 40 feet. Yeah, it's like 40 feet long. Yeah, it's 40 by eight, I think. So it's way bigger than that storage unit for 10 grand. So I, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be a better deal for my shipping container than, that, than to get a $600 a month storage unit. That's just my thought. 
uh, because the break even on it's gonna be pretty quick. And the nice thing about owning that shipping container is it's mine now, right? I own it, it's on our property, well my dad's property, and it's gonna continue to be mine. Its price is not gonna change. I already own it in full. I don't have like payments on it or anything like that. I just bought the thing. And so I think it's gonna end up being good, especially if rates keep going up. I think I'm gonna be really happy with my decision to, uh, to buy that unit instead of get a storage unit. So I sold this jacket, I bought this Saturday, yeah, yesterday. I uh, paid 30 bucks, so I paid up a little bit, but I knew it was good because I looked it up. It's a heated jacket. It's from the brand uh, Gerbings. And it didn't actually look like it was on sale. It was just on the garage uh, wall. And I was talking to these people at their sale and I said, hey, would you sell that? And he's like, yeah, I'd sell it, I don't ride anymore. And it's actually heated. See how it's got these cords on it? So we find a jacket with cords. They're look worth looking at twice because they might be heated. This is a motorcycle jacket. And I kind of priced it lower than I thought it was worth because I wanted it to sell quick and it did work. <laughs> uh, it also came with the gloves. So these gloves plug in at the end and all that's powered, I think by the motorcycle. You guys can tell me how it really works. There's this controller here that lets you adjust the heat. It's got more cables that connect to the jacket and then there's this, which looks like it connects to the battery terminals on the motorcycle itself. And then that connects to that. So I think the motorcycle gives it power. Let me know if I'm wrong. But anyways, that whole setup, the guy told me it works great. I paid 34, I listed it for 100. I have a 10% coupon still active. So the buyer paid $90 plus shipping uh, and it sold in a day. He did say, hey, I know it's a long shot, but can this go out tomorrow with three day UPS, USPS priority? And actually it will, he timed it right because I do my shipping on Mondays, Wednesdays, like gets picked up Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. So he actually timed it perfectly and he will get it. I still have it as three day shipping though, so which is why he's asking that. Okay, so all together we have $762 in sale since Thursday night, so Friday morning basically. Three days of sale, 762. That's what happens when you list 80 items in a day. Uh, always pays off. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.